Guitar fretboard, learning to breathe while counting out loud. This is a follow up to that uh, tutorial that I made the other day called Guitar Fretboard, Learning to Breathe. I promised you I'd come up with a follow up and this is it. I'm not gonna teach you about any music theory regarding notes or beats, reading music, as you can find tons of other highly qualified YouTube videos on the subject. I'm, however, going to emphasize the importance of learning how to count four measures out loud while keeping track with the help of your hands. If you're a right-handed guitar player that strums the guitar with the right hand, and you know what I mean, you'll need to keep the beat with your right hand and use your left hand to keep track of the measures. Again, if you don't know what a measure is, look it up on the YouTube videos, okay? I'll begin with the four basic counts, beginning with the whole note beats, followed by the quarter note beats, eighth note beats, and ending with the sixteenth note beats. You start out slow. I'll set this metronome to 60 beats per minute. It's a little bit challenging because you have to count a little bit differently, but it's not an impossible task. Okay, it's great. It's a good mind training exercise and it'll expand your, it'll expand your guitar playing and surprise you in the end. I suggest mastering this technique in order to move forward with your guitar performing and songwriting dreams, as well as perhaps uh, your singing uh, potential. Okay, if you can master this, you'll be way ahead of the game. Okay, so stay tuned. Let's count some whole note beats. Here's the notation, musical notation for whole note beats. Please go and refer to a to a YouTube uh, explanation of what that means, but we're going to count four measures of the whole notes using this system right here. Okay, I have my metronome here, and I put this little pick here to indicate that the right hand is the rhythm. I'm counting the beats with my right hand, and I'm counting the measures with my left hand. I want to keep that, uh, where the whole point is to keep in mind that this is your strumming hand and it's counting beats. Okay, so let's go on with this. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. You're going to get this type of a, of a, of a, of a, of a beat or a count when you're hitting open chords. So you'll probably have one, two, three, when you're holding your pick like this, it'll be one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. That's the action you're gonna get. I'll probably do, I'll probably have to demonstrate this on the guitar, but that's the counting, and this is what we're working with, is the counting technique um, for this purpose, okay? So four measures and how to count them. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. I emphasize the counting of one, two, three, and four as um, a way of, prep, of getting your mind to expand on 
the count. Not only will you be able to to uh, to clarify where the measure is, but you'll also be able to um, articulate uh, song lyrics better and um, that's about it, okay? So you're working the articulation of your, of your thinking and of your breathing and also where you are in the measure, okay? Quarter note beats means you're gonna get one beat on each of the notes, okay? Again, here we go. We're gonna start this off right here. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. Okay, again, I use the pick to indicate uh, the the notes are picked on the quarters okay one two three four two two three four three two three four four two three four that's what it's going to look like when you're playing the guitar okay that's the notation musical notation for the quarter notes All right, next one up is the eighth note beats. Okay, here's the musical notations for that. I keep my pick there because this is my, this is my uh, strumming hand, okay? Each of the eight notes will get a beat. And this, the plus, is pronounced end. One and two and three and four end. That's how you count that. So let's try to count that. One and two and three and four and two and two and three and four and three and two and three and four and four and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two and two and three and four and Three and two and three and four and four and two and three and four and. Okay, articulate your voice to pronounce these as clearly as possible. Okay, one and two and three and four and two and two and three and four and three and two and three and four and four and two and three and four and. It's like uh, in acting, they put marbles in their mouth uh, so that you can pronounce it. Uh, you can learn more how to articulate your voice. This helps with articulation and it also helps with breathing, which is the main purpose of this whole exercise, okay? Now, uh, I'll, I'll hold the pick and try this. So you have one and two and three, and, oh, I'm sorry, I'll start again. One and two and three and four and two and two and three and four and three and two and three and four and four and two and three and four and. Okay? Or you could try this way. One and two and three and four and two and two and three and four and three and two and three and four and four and two and three and four and. It's another way of strumming. They're all downbeats. 
or upbeats, try upbeats. One and two and three and four and two and two and three and four and three and two and three and four and four and two and three and four and. Those are all upbeats. Then you can mix it up with up and down. So one and two and three and four and two and two and three and four and three and two and three and four and four and two and three and four and okay that's uh it's about as far as i'll get but you get the picture okay the thing to do is to count out loud and to use your right hand as your strumming hand or whatever your strumming hand is, is to be able to count the beats with that. But I'm assuming that people are right-handed, but I take in consideration that them, some people are left-handed as well too. But you get the picture, okay. Sixteenths note beats. There's a musical notation. Again, go to YouTube uh, tutorials that explain what that is. It's always good to, to uh, to educate yourself, you'll probably want to know uh, how this came about. Okay, my main point is counting out loud, the four measures out loud. Okay, so here we have the 16th note beats at 60, 60 beats per minute. Okay, so this is pronounced one E and a, uh, two E and a, uh, three E and a, uh, four E and a. Uh. Okay, let's go through the, through the motion right here. It's a little bit faster. One E and a, uh, two E and a, uh, three E and a, uh, four E and a, uh, two E and a, uh, two E and a, uh, three E and a, uh, four E and a, uh, three E and a, uh, two E and a, uh, three E and a, uh, four E and a, uh, four E and a, uh, two E and a, uh, three E and a, uh, four E and a. Uh, one more time. One. Two E and a three E and a four E and a two E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a three E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a four E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Okay, it's a little challenging right there. This is going to really uh, start teaching you how to breathe uh, in and out. Uh, by the time you get to the three E and a uh, area right here you're gonna to need to take a breath. And this is where practice makes perfect, knowing how to, how to breathe in while you're actually saying, you're uh, saying the three E and, uh, but it could be, you know, depending on, on uh, your lung capacity, will determine uh, uh, where you need to, your breathing pattern. Everybody's gonna be different, okay? But practice is perfect. Now, let me go through what this might look like with a strumming uh, situation with your pick, okay? This is more like a chop. Imagine, you know, like one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a two E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a three E and a three. The three E and a four E and a four E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Okay, more like a like a punk like a punk beats have those or some you know choppy uh, type of rock rock uh, strumming. You know you've heard it before, but this is um, but it also can be. Let's try a different way. So we can go one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a two E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a three E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a four E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Okay, that's kind of the action right there. I may not be completely accurate, but you see what I'm saying is there's a. That's a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. You can almost see hear the hear the the guitar uh, going. But uh, there are definite uh, examples of that type of strumming. And uh, but the main point is to count these out loud and to try to keep the tempo and the the notes uh, as you're going. So let's uh, let's one more. So one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a two e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a three e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a four e and two e and a three e and a four e and a. All right. 
So there you go. Those are 16th notes and the practice you'll need to put in to be able to count these four measures out loud. Okay, by doing so, you'll be able to articulate um, better lyrics. You, if you master this, you'll be creating some incredible lyrics uh, to your songs and it'll uh, give you some uh, great tools uh, for your toolbox, okay? So this is master this and uh, this will make your guitar playing expand. You'll blow people's minds. You'll blow your own mind, okay? So have fun with this and keep breathing as you count out loud.